guys, what's up? It's me, Lena, and I'm back with another review recap of a new series on Disney Channel, guys. So this is the series premiere, if I'm correct, this is the series premiere, and it was a whole one hour. It's called Mac X4. Now, this would seem like type of a Disney XD show, so I don't know if they're going to move it to Disney XD and they're just premiering it on Disney Channel, but all throughout this weekend, from Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, every day, the our episodes in the play for the whole premiere and I think this show was really cool I just love it and it just seems so different for Disney I would say and I feel like this should be a actual real comic maybe it is and I just don't know because I don't read comics but yeah and first for y'all watching excuse my posters back here I literally need to update my posters because I kind of feel like a lame that I have those back there but anyway yeah let's get to the premise of this show so you got Ryan Walker a freshman at Bay City High who has technopathy techno technopathy Technopathy? Yeah. So, the extraordinary ability to control technology with his mind. Okay. So, yeah. His talent mysteriously awakens Mech X4, a giant 120-foot 120 foot robot built by an elusive genius and hired to defend their town against impending doom. Ryan recruits his two best friends and his older brother to help him operate Mech X4. When monsters suddenly begin to descend upon their city, the four must quickly learn to work as a team in order to pilot the robot that is their only hope of saving their town and ultimately the world from mass destruction, guys. So, yeah, this episode, this show seems very action-packed. The episode was very action-packed. I love the scene. I love how they shy. Like, everybody was like, Boof. and it was so freaking amazing. It was created by Steve Marmel, Marmel, and yes, him. He actually did. He worked on many anime TV series. They said he did The Fairy Odd Parents, I Am Weasel, Danny. Oh, my God, he worked on Danny Phantom. <laughs> Danny Phantom, Family Guy, <gasps> Yin Yang Yo. Oh, my God. Okay, first of all, I used to watch that show. Like, I know he's like, that's the cutest show. No, first, okay, so first of all, Danny Phantom. He's a Phantom. Man. First of all, okay, okay. Danny Phantom, he used to work on Danny. He worked on Danny Phantom. Then they said he frequently co wrote episodes for the Fairy Lot Parents with Butch Hartman, and he also created, <gasps> he created the series Sunny with a Chance. And they said he grew up in Lincolnwood, Illinois. So, hey, Illinois. I'm from Chicago. But anyway, yeah. So, I think that was literally... This is pretty cool. So, let's get to the cast. Y'all know I gotta get to the cast. Y'all know I gotta pull the cast pictures up. Um, the pictures are gonna be on... I don't know what side of me they're gonna be on. But I'm about to tell y'all about this freaking cast that I'm loving right now, okay? Okay, let me take a look at the cast right now. Okay, 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 okay. Let me just go before. Okay, anyway, I'm just talking I'm literally gonna stop playing, guys. Let me just stop playing. Okay. But anyway, we got the lead. Well, no, not the lead, because everybody's really the lead on here. Every character has their own story, and I feel like we can like unlock some more stuff. So this is pretty exciting. But let's start off with Ryan, the Ryan Walker, who plays Ryan Walker, is Nathaniel J. Podman. Let me tell y'all something. So he was on Girl Meets World, and he was actually on Jesse too. But I did see him on Girl Meets World on the episode of Girl Meets World, and I think I did see him on Jesse too, which is on Disney, obviously. So yeah, but I'm gonna just say this right now. At first, I was like, okay, he looked kind of young, and I was like, well, I gotta find his birthday. So I couldn't find his birthday on like Wikipedia. So I went to famous. That's true. I went to famousbirthdays.com, and they said he was born October second, nineteen ninety nine. I'm like, I got you by two months, but okay. But so he's seventeen. So I'm like, boy, his eyes. I don't know if anybody noticed how brown, light brown his eyes are. Does anybody else think that he looked like Bow Wow, Bow Wow, Shad Moss, whatever? Bow Wow. He looked just like him. His eyes. He looked just like him in his face. In his eyes. Jesus Christ, I was going on about Thomas Doherty on The Lodge, which is eyes are amazing, but I just gotta go off on Nathaniel with his eyes. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, like Jesus, like seriously. But yeah. But anyway, yeah. So then you got Cameron Lucas who played Harris. Actually, Harris is his best friend. He got a lot of the techie skills. You know, he got most of the techie skills, even though. Ryan is a technopathy. He got a lot of techie skills. But yeah, so I thought that, you know, he did really good. I like his character too. And he was actually on... They said he was actually on Grimmie's World too. And he played a character on Grimmie's World. And it says he was on Bell and the Bulldogs. And Sam, he played a, a character on Sam and Cat. I used to watch Sam and Cat. 
a, a lot. Well, no, I didn't watch Sammy Cat that much, but yeah. So then you got his other best friend, who plays best friend, Pierce Joza. He plays Spider. Y'all, so he's Spider, you know what I'm saying? That's his best friend. He's kind of like the silly one, but like, okay, do this and that, you know what I'm saying? But it's like, he's not too silly because he can be serious sometimes. So he was on Lab Rats. He's on, oh, he's on Lab Rats, okay. So he's familiar with like the, the on Disney, you know what I'm saying, with that. Lab Rats, How to Be the Bully. So yeah, I just want to mention, I don't know if y'all ever watched this show called, um, My Baby Sister's a Vampire. And... It was it was the guy and his best friend. I think it's the best friend's name talking about to be or something. But the guy who plays Spider looked just like him from uh, uh what I just said it, my baby says back. I'm gonna put the picture up there of him and the guy. But yeah, he they look just alike, so I'm like, is y'all related or like no? Nah, like But yeah, so I thought they looked just like too. So then we get to Brian's brother, Mark Walker, Raymond Alexander Cham Jr. So you guys know, I already, no, I don't know if y'all don't know probably, but I already know him because he was in Teen Beach 2. I don't know him no more, but he was in Teen Beach 2 and I was legit excited because it's like, oh my god, this guy has a Teen Beach 2 and I liked his, really loved his character. So I'm really glad that he's on a, a show because I thought he did a really good job in Teen Beach 2 and I was pretty excited. I kind of wish they do with Teen Beach 3, but I know that's pushing it. I know it's pushing it. But yeah, so I'm pretty excited to see him on here too. Because I was like, oh, that's a boy from TV Shoe. What? And then yeah, so then you got Allie Lieber. She's playing Principal Gray. Then you got Peter Benson. He's playing Seth Harper. Ooh. Print, the first of the principal, she evil. Second of all, Seth, he too interested. So yeah. Then you got Crystal Balin, Balin, who played Grace Walker, Mark and Ryan's mom, slay with that hair. Then you got Paul Lazenby playing Morris, Rohan Campbell playing Dame, Alyssa Lynch playing Casey, Cassie Vine. You know what I'm saying? She all up in the news, in the mix, doing this and doing that. You got Dean Redman, he's on here. Dean Redman, Eliza Bellani, Dave Collette, Caitlin Chung, Bethany Brown, Lucas Morgan, Raph Rogers, Peter Bundick, Aaron Hinn, Alyssa Jeros, and a whole big 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 cast guys and we're gonna see more of them later on i'm pretty sure so yeah let's get started with this quick review recap because i don't want this video to be long i want it to be really quick i just want to tell you guys that i really really like this show and i think it was really awesome the freaking scenes and like oh my god that's all the freaking scenes and like all this and that it was like so much going on but yet it was in there so let's just start off with what happened at the first part so they, when he started talking, you know what I'm saying, every kid, they were like, okay. So yeah, you know, every kid, they got a little introduction. It was just like a movie. This feel like a movie. So he was like, hey, guy, so it's Bay City High, that's the city, I mean, his school. So he was like, hi, I'm Ryan Walker. Yes, he's so good. But yeah, so he's like, look, I have a gift. Not like my older brother, Mark, who has a gift for every sport, basketball, face, football, baseball, this and that. He's just so amazing. So he was like, look, my gift is different. Everything electronic was out, like, out to get him. His alarm clock kept buzzing at him. His toast was burnt. So then Mark was like, are you sure we related? And he was like. But then, even the cars threw shit at him. But then, one time he jumped up, he did like this to the freaking alarm clock, like, right. And then, it went off. His eyes lit up, like, as, as if his eyes wasn't beautiful enough. It went up like three. They lit up. So, yeah, so if he could concentrate hard enough, he can control it. So then he was like, unblock the TV from the boxing mask, because his mom blocked it, you know, so you can watch it. He unblocked it. So anyway, yeah, so his best friend is like, oh, I don't know, Ryan, that could be a coincidence. He's like, let me show you something. She's like, Z -Z 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 -Z. he did the vending machine and all the stuff started spilling out. So we, so yeah, so then it was like, okay, okay. The theme song reminded me like of an old Transformers, like back in the 90s or early 2000s, like Power Rangers type. Like it was just different. I like normally with Disney, they do like a lot of scenes from like the show. But I feel like this was more, it was actually like a, like an actual like, superhero robotic kind of comic thing i felt i felt that through the thing i felt it i really did so yeah so anyway so um harris is like you know did you get bit by a spider or something chemical for the leg and he's like no i don't know so then you had principal gray you know i knew she was too excited she was too happy she was like oh my god okay the freshman's not coming in we don't need another wedgie based lawsuit that kid never walked again ever like that he always walked funny so yeah then i don't know why mark ended up filling up his own brother's locker with garbage in jockey strap jockey cups with peanut butter in it so then he was like it was called trash flinger so he's like i really hope that's peanut butter so then 
Spider ate it and he's like, oh, get it, peanut butter cup. And then Ryan was like, that's disgusting. And I asked, mm, no, anyway, yeah. So then Ryan, he was about to do this, he was about to do the trash thing. So this is when he started, this is when it first happened. So he was trying to get the trash man the, the, to get the, that get the sewage out the sewage hole. He was trying to do that so he could shoot all of his belly and control it. But when he was controlling it, he was having visions in between. I was like, that's so baby. Yeah, he was having visions in between. So I was like, okay, this is weird. So then it, that ended up like going back against him because it ended up shooting at him and it wasn't good. So then Cassie, she's like, hey, I'm Cassie Vine um, on the Grandma Gram. I guess this was like Gram. And on here, they don't say hashtag. They say Castec. It's something different. I don't even know. But yeah. So he had a vision. So the hair was like, look, I'm not going to say I told you so. So I'm going to just say it to you in Spanish. So then he's like, well, he explained everything, all his visions to Harris, so Harris could look it up. So his father's like, I normally have visions, but it's normally it's about Ariana Grande, so, yeah, and King. So then they're going to go to that, to the place. I'm like, how did you get to that place so quickly? But they went there. So then it was like some movie music, and then like something started scanning, this lamp started scanning his face. So he's like, I'm not doing that. So he's like, identify, identity confirmed. So when it confirmed it, it opened up this big old thing, this robot came out. And it reminded me of freaking... Wally Transformers and that movie with Hugh Jackman in it. I'm gonna put the name up there. I cannot remember it, but the movie with Hugh Jackman in it. Yeah. Oh, like, was, yeah. That's, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, anyway, yeah. So then it stepped on. I'm like, but that was to shoot them in upstairs. So it shot them upstairs, and then it was this guy talking on the thing that we now realized was his name was Leo. He was like, look, um, if you've seen this, you must be a technopath. You can control machines with your mind. Then he was like, okay, or whatever. He's like, okay, so one. Um, you can control machines with your mind, and two, I'm either hiding or dead, which is kind of like me a bummer. So he's like, this is a complex weapon, only piloted by you, so oh my god, he is, he's about to start the machine up. So now he's linked, he linked up to, like, we linking up to the machine now. I don't know how he unlinked though, but yeah, he linked. So anyway, yeah. So then, um, he did it, you know what I'm saying, he mimicked the actions, if he jumps, he jumps, you do this and that. So, I'm like, okay, okay. Okay, so they're going to need team, weapons, and defense, and all this and that. So you got to be really strong because this is a really hard job, and you're going to take the punches, and you got to go with it. So he said the most important thing is, and then it just cut off, the bill cut off. So then Harris was like, wait, we got to figure out. So then Ryan was like, boy, we about to do this. So then it was like, oh my God, we got to, Harris like, we got to read the manual. He's like, every time you get a toy, it's like a big battle bot. Every time you get a toy, you always read the manual. So his father was like, no, you don't. So then he was like, yeah, and that's why you're, that's why you're, Christmas gifts only last until December 26th. So and he's like, dude, I'm Jewish. And he was like, my bad. So yeah, that was kind of a funny, it was kind of a funny joke, I guess. I mean, he's like, dude, I'm Jewish. Like, I don't even celebrate Christmas. So were well, you trying to burn me? But you got burned. But anyway, yeah. So um, Ryan was like, we got a chain with all this and that. So Harris was like, oh my God, what I agree to. So Mark was fixing his car and then Ryan pulled a prank on him with the ch the dumpster and dumping the trash on him. So then uh, the video went viral. He taped it, the video went viral. And Mark was like, oh, I'm sorry, bro. I didn't know that that wasn't like a good prank to pull on you when it happened. So then he was like, I know you never do that to me because he didn't know that that was his Ryan. So Ryan was like, he's like, we cool. And he's like, yeah, frosty. So yeah. Then... Um, it was like, oh, you used a giant fire robot to crush your brother's spirit. That's so cute. No, so then there's a big old dragon monster. I'm like, what the heck? One, I want to mention this on the commercial break. Moana looks really good to watch. Again, I want to see that movie. And two, on case in the cover, Zane is back. Brett's daddy. But yeah, because I do reviews on that too. So that's why I had to mention that because I saw that. I was like, what the heck? But anyway, back to the show at hand. So it was all about to die, basically, and the, and the principal was like, y'all should probably should run, y'all gonna die, but then she was like, I probably should have did better on that. So then Cassie, she was trying to stream and all this now, I'm like, everybody should go. So then they went to the robot, and he was like, mech, execute. And then Harris was like, we doing cash raising now? But anyway, yeah, so they gotta fight this whole thing. That was a freaking big old Pajito, like, that Pajito was big. No, it was a dragon skin, but yeah, it's a Pokemon thing, a Pajito. Mainly, I only know this because I played Pokemon Go, so, yeah. But anyway, yeah, so anyway, his arm was being chewed off, and it hurt him so bad. It hurt him so bad. So he felt that. So he's like, oh my god, that's what the X, the 4 is for in Mech X4, because you need a fourth team member, the mechanic. So he's like, uh-oh, Mark is a good mechanic. So he's like, I don't want Mark. He's like, he better get Mark. So Mark, he got Mark, because Mark was like, why, where you at? So he went and got Mark, he stepped on him, so then he was like, okay, whatever, I'm gonna kill you later, but I need to fix you now, because oh my god, that boy was bruised up. If he feels, if the robot get hit, he get hit. And that was scary. I'm like, Disney. Disney, dang. But anyway, yeah. So, um, he went down and he went and fixed everything up. And they did the plasma punch. And you know what? It went viral, guys. So, yeah. 
then they was like, okay, well, they looked all around and said, well, this is, this is a big place. We're going to hang out and stuff like that. So they saw that, you know, they was watching Cassie's video. And it was like, oh, my God, Cassie's so cool. So then, you know, he was like, well, the, the, my two best friends volunteered, but I never asked you. So then Mark was like, well, that was pretty cool. And we brothers and we teammates. So bring it here, bro. So, yeah, they did that. So then, he's going to be on the team. The principal was like, we need more monster drills. We need to be safe. That's what she was telling the teacher. But really, she fake because she is the one making the monster. She was like, I'm going to make another monster that's going to mess up mess at Mech X4. Okay? So, yeah, she's going to make a the next monster going to tell her apart. And I'm like, bro, you not got to stop. You got to stop. So, yeah. So then, um, we saw, I saw another commercial, and it was Dove Cameron. And she had a new wig for her descendants, too. Ye Ryan was like, we can't tell anybody the hair, so like, I would tell some guys if I could. So then Cassie was like, hey, Ryan Walker and Harris Harris Jr. And then whatever your name is, boy. So the spider was like, she almost know my name. So yeah, she told, she told, he told her. So he was like, Ryan, you and Ryan, yes. They was cheering him and all that. So he was like, he was like, oh my God, here's a street performer doing a robot. And it was like, here's a veggie burger that actually tastes good. And here's a check for a million dollars. So they was all chatting Ryan. But it was a dream. So then his mom was like, oh, it was a dream. Well, does it end when you late for school? Because she was like, because then that's when it gets real, okay? So you better get up out your bed. It was just a dream for him. So then she made this new breakfast on a stick called the Breakfast Kebab. And it's for her food truck. And you know, since she owned a food truck, like, mm, that's so good. I want some food right now. But anyway, yeah. So then it, they was pretty happy. So they went and turned on the TV and they saw that, oh my God, they saw that the, the reporter was just bashing on him. He reminded me of Bill O'Reilly. I don't know if y'all know Bill O'Reilly on the news, but he reminded me of him. He was just bashing on him, bashing on him. He was like, look, they had this man. He was like, oh, this angry father. He was like, it stepped on my baby. He was like, if I had one, I would have. I'm like, what? Why are you looking at me like that? I'm like, what? But anyway, yeah. So then it was like, basically needs to live in fear and oh, all that stuff. So I'm just like, wow. So, um... They tried to do good, and it's like, what happens when you try to do good? What happens, guys? People make it into a negative thing. All the time. But anyway, yeah, so they was going to try and fix the video and, like, do facial recognition, but, you know, Harris was trying to do that. But then, they was like, okay, well, we're going to have to try to make this robot more friendlier. So they went to go help this lady that was being mugged, but that scared her. Then they went to go um, help the kids they toys up the street, but then that scared them. So then they had... Seth Harper, he he was he's a big company man. People like hot dogs and people like water, so it's gonna catch on sooner or later. So yeah, and then his window wash was about to fall to his death, but the robot saved him. I'm like, wait, well Ryan and them saved him, yeah. So then Harper was like, well tell the gossip guy to tell me to tell him that I have a freaking announcement. So he's gonna give them a thumbs up. He was pretty excited, you know what I'm saying? It's time to get that hometown love. And um yeah, they trying to spin everything spinning everything and saying like they bad but they really good robots you know it's a good robot man good max x4 you know and they just trying to make it seem like they bad people and they not okay but anyway yeah so um the principal was like i can destroy him in front of his biggest fan because we they go into seth harper's house boom wow then harris is like why are you trying to reveal us for fame and he's like oh my god whatever they need a human face so then harris is like no you just want a victory lap so i'm not some vending machine that you can technopathically push around so he's like i'm not gonna do it so the spider was like you ain't always right harris and he was like well then why are you always cheat on me cheat off of me so he's like oh my bad so anyway yeah so then he went to go look for the man stuff in the trailer so he ended up finding something at first he went through all the hard drives but he ended up finding one thing because he hit something it was a secret door and it had books all ideas of books and this and that and oh my god it was so much going on it was all the ideas for the mech x4 so then he saw a video he found the camera and it was like um you gotta be careful is you cannot reveal your identity because people are coming gonna come out there for you ryan so he knew that ryan was he knew that ryan was gonna want to activate this somehow so then he's like uh oh so he went and tested them but it was too late they was already on their way to the place so when they got there he was there and then they was there, so they was just about to reveal themselves until the principal lady had her squid freaking monster pop up. And then the squid monster freaking stepped on Harris, so then everyone was like, oh, he's dead. And the scenery was so amazing. It was so amazing. But it was like crazy. But guess what? He wasn't dead because they found him. So it was like, okay, okay, you know what I'm saying? They good. You know, Mark was like, come on, Ryan, you can do this. Mark went and went and saved him. You go, Mark. You go, Mark. Because Mark is a mechanic and he's so fast. He's good. But anyway, yeah. So then Ryan was like, he grabbed his head, he's like, oh my god, you okay? So he was like, okay, dude, that's awkward. But yeah. 
So anyway, so they gotta be some of the heroes and all that. So they met, mech asked him with that plasma axe, you know what I'm saying? One time, one time. So the principal was like, uh, and then it went back to this nasty little hole. And he was a little beaten up, but if everyone's okay, he's great. So yeah, so then they jumped away and stuff, then Seth Harper was like, amazing. So then Mark was like, thanks for the save. Um, Mark told him, you know, Mark's getting thanked, you know, for his saving him. He's like, oh no, bro, we teammates, like, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So then, you know, he told Ryan about how the guy knew his name, and then Spider was like, that's borderline illegal, but that's kind of cool. So he was like, I saved Seth Harper and his assistant Jessica. Am I the only one who thinks about the ladies? So, yeah. Oh, so, yeah, and they ended up, like, giving their little, putting their hands, and it was like, we all friends. And Spider was like, yeah, we all equally good friends, right? Right? So then Harris was working on something. So his arms started itching. I was like, ooh, boy, what's wrong? So then he lifted up his arm sleeve and was like, eat. His arm was feeling blood from the inside out. I'm like, boy. So on the preview, it said that tomorrow, he was like, well, I kind of swallowed and ate some of that stuff that this octopus spilled out because he ate some. was like, ew, this taste is worse than my mom's cooking. And yeah, it's going to turn into something that's not human. They're going to have to kill. They have guns. Like they have some kind of gun trying to kill Harris. Like, okay. I don't know how they're going to fix this because they still have a problem here. I don't know if they know how to work the robot yet, but they go as they go along as they, you know. They do it as they go. You know what I'm saying? But I really like this show. I think it was really cool. And I think that I really want to see the rest. And hopefully um, they air it. I don't know. They should air it on Disney Channel and Disney XD too. But they might just try to do Disney XD since it seemed more of a Disney XD type show. Because they put a lot. They put a lot of them robotic different kind of techie like shows on there like lab rats on there mighty man's on there um <clears throat> kicking it was on there so they put like a lot of different type of action pack shows on disney xd so yeah so yeah guys thanks for watching i don't know why i said so yeah so yeah so yeah so yeah but anyway yeah thanks for watching don't forget to like share subscribe and comment congratulations to the whole cast and the writers and the crew i think the show is really good and i really wish that this would be like an actual movie they should make Ooh, they should have made a movie and then a series but the only thing is with this one, I kind of felt, I kind of wanted to, um, I kind of felt like when they was going through the motions of things, they was just like jumping into it. And it already said that in September, the show is already renewed for season two. So I don't know if this premiere already premiered somewhere else in this, they already got renewed, but they already got renewed for season two, guys. So I'm like, y'all ballin'. But yeah, so I'm just like, this show is really good. And like, on, like I was saying before, like just a few, few minutes ago, we'll probably come on stuff out, off. But yeah, I kind of feel like they was, the characters was kind of like, like Ryan, he was just like, okay, I'm gonna do this. Or now like, everybody was like, okay, I'm gonna do this. They wasn't like respected, like skeptical. Like, if I would have got hit with that foot, you know what I'm saying? Like, it like it jumps straight into action, into action which I think was good. But I kind of, I hope further along they go, I get more storylines and make more backstories. Like, how he figured out he had technopathy. I know they already said it, how he figured it out in the summer. But, like, what, like, hopefully they, like, elaborate more on some things. You know what I'm saying? Like, hopefully elaborate more on Leo and stuff like that. So, yeah. So, thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. But make sure you subscribe to our channel. It's going to be down there or right here at the end because you can put it on there because I got the new annotations, guys. But, yeah, don't forget to check out other videos because I do other videos, too. We'll see you guys next time.